Scorpio, this is Soul. And Scorpio, this is your week ahead. Uh, energies beginning in November, November 25th and ending December uh, 1st, <laughs> 2019. All right, Scorpio, I hope all is well. Uh, the messages will be for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Rising Signs, uh, New Week, New Energy, Scorpio. I'm using, uh, once again, the Japarese uh, tarot deck to deliver your messages and also offering one select uh, divine affirmation card to complement your reading. Before I begin your messages, um, Scorpio, I do want to wish all the Scorpions who are um, celebrating Thanksgiving this upcoming week a very safe and happy um, Thanksgiving celebration. Okay, without further ado, let's get in underway here with these energies. Scorpio, let's see what's coming up for you guys. All the cards are in the upright position, um, but it doesn't really matter, you know, <laughs> if they are in the upright. So, <clears throat> next week might be different since I use, I will be using a different deck and just gonna play around with, um, you know, cards being reversed and upright just to give me a greater feel. Everything can't be um, in terms of energies of what we want in terms of, you know, the cards being in the upright position. Because I don't feel that it makes too much of a difference because there are certain cards even in the upright will come up. And how do you explain, you know, the Three of Swords, the Tower, and uh, Eight of Cups? All the cards that I consider to be, uh, you know, dings or negatives. So it doesn't really make sense. Anyway, so let's see what's coming up for you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs for the week of November 21st. Ending December 1st, 2019. Shadow card energy, uh, Scorpio relates to that of the six of wands so this is starting off pretty good of course it's right in line with the uh this week's energy in terms of traveling because thanksgiving happens to be a, a very uh popular traveling a lot of people travel i think it's the most traveling period of uh, all the holidays not necessarily combined but it is up there in the majors so Save passage to, first and foremost, save passage from. So if you're traveling to visit family members, friends, traveling solo, um, yeah, you'll have a good time getting there and then your return will be just as fine as well. Playing to an audience. Now, this particular deck here, she's like playing a violin. She's on stage. So maybe someone during this time has um, concert tickets or seeing a show, a violinist. A musician could be a you know like I said a show concert um, stage play um, could be almost anything but this is victory and success as well so I need to mention that six of fire represents the fire signs Aries Leo Sagittarius male or females sorry about that Scorpio my beard is uh, growing and it's scratching <laughs> itching anyway so the focus for you however is the devil card, the major arcana. Okay, I had to stop and think for a second, but I got my thoughts together. Major arcana, the devil, is the focus. So, of course, when the devil shows up, uh, Scorpio, it's about a need, it's about restrictions and feeling uh, bound to a situation, person, or an event. This is open general reading. If this applies to you, it is a major, so that would be more energy uh, in terms of a focus for some of you to address bad uh, relationships, bad habits, if they're personal, you need to uh, address them, bring them up and deal with them. If it is involving someone else, the same thing applies because I feel that the devil's card uh, when it comes to addictions, because the devil is all about addictions. OK, uh, not just feeling restricted or bound, but it's about addictions. If it is actual substance abuse, drinking, smoking, gambling. Well, if it is you, then you need to bring up this um situation and discuss it openly that you have a you know you might have a problem because whatever it is if it is uh, about addiction Scorpio it's not only affecting you but the people who are in your circle as well okay so discussing not only your bad habits and relationships but others 
Maybe there's something that's going on with someone that you know, family member, significant other, romantic partner, platonic friendship, so forth. And, and you know, this could be sex. This could be uh, sexual addiction. This could be someone shopping too much. This is, of course, my unrequited love card where um Someone could have more feelings for Scorpio than Scorpio has for themselves, or there's more feelings going out from Scorpio towards someone and the feelings aren't mutual, okay, or reciprocated. So it all depends on what's going on with you in your uh, given situation. But this is a card that says uh, we need to talk, okay? Either you need to talk for yourself or you need to talk about a situation uh, involving the person involving you because whatever is going on uh this devil is coming in here uh to create some sort of unnecessary illusion okay and not only create some sort of illusion but making you feel that what you're dealing with is the real deal when it's not so that's that false energy as well that he's also projecting onto you devil represents capricorn Virgo and Taurus, male, female energy. So that's our focus. Wow, that's our focus for this week. Now, it doesn't it, it is a major, but it doesn't necessarily mean that's the the tail all of all the energies that's going to show up here for you. Yeah, I just felt this, you know, intuitively something is not right uh, with the devil's card showing up here. Something is I feel it's involving. Something's not right with a Scorpio that um, comes along and sees this video and there's an attachment. It's, it's definitely in relationship to another person. Uh, the energies are. Well, let me just say this. The energies are not good between them something's going on and whatever that influence the devil has this is what i'm picking up okay following the devil card scorpio now we have four of tides again the six of wands is about traveling and so this boat is about traveling too so you know like i said somebody could be taking a cruise somebody could be the boat would represent all means and forms of transportation so it's about getting together with family members and friends and, and enjoying each other's company and celebration now as i said before um in previous videos because of this couple being here and their backs to uh each other it gives you a kind of uh disinterested kind of feel like they're ignoring each other but that could almost be the case for you know anyone who witnesses this but in terms of my description or what I'm feeling empathically is that the four of tides, the four of cups uh, and normal, uh, not normal, but other decks, it's always that one cup that, you know, if there is a person picture there, they're focused on that one cup and then the three cups before them. So there's three favorable things before them, but they're only focused on that one cup. Well, there are no cups here. OK, so I can't, you know, go by the fact that. Um, just because their backs are to each other's because the four of tides, in my opinion, is still a good card. It's a card of, for me, it's social interactions is an even exchange of energies with other people. It still represents relationships uh, and, you know, children. But just because the I'm not going to read it as such because the backs are to each other um, and there's something going on with them emotionally. And the focus is they're both focused on something else in different directions, opposite directions. But this is for me, representing your energy as Scorpio and that of Cancer and Pisces. This is about movement, you know, transportation, as I said before, but also spending quality time with your significant others. The people who are important, uh, you know, that are in your life. All right. That's what I'm getting. Now, let me just throw you an attachment here. To this because the, the four of cups or the four of tides is about a relationship card if you were to take this energy of uh dissatisfaction in the male and the female because their back is to each other it's in the past position now apply it to the devil card 
Is that something that's going on with you? And I said that there's something going on with a Scorpio that has uh, a problem or an issue with another person. Whoever that person is. It could be persons. More than one. But you fill in the blanks. Okay. I'm just giving you an example of what I'm feeling empathically. Um and trying to put out the best messages to you. Following the four of tides is the king of gardens. All right. So we have a good card here. This is the card of generosity. This is a card of uh, security, no doubt, stability, um, long term energies. It could reference a real person. There are some Scorpios who are thinking, uh, leaning towards business and opening up their own or trying to, if they have their own business, trying to improve on their business or marketing skills. This could represent your boss in the workplace environment. So, of course, you know, it's definitely a good uh, week period of time to ask for any favors when it comes to the workplace environment. Someone could be bumped into a higher paying position. Someone could be getting a job. OK, this is uh, uh, all about an offering in a good way. Uh, this is a court card. So we follow the four of tides relationships. There could be some Scorpios who meet someone who is uh, very resourceful, very well to do in terms of the line that they have chosen, line of work that they have chosen, or they could be, um, you know, business owners themselves. And they're very, very wealthy. But this, uh, these individuals, and it could represent a uh, female, uh, they're willing to share anything that they have accumulated for themselves with you. All right. That's the king of gardens, the king of pentacles. So if it is a uh, week of generosity, then it could be that, you know, someone goes to the bank and applies for a loan. Could be when I say apply for a loan, it could be any loan, not just a personal loan. It could be a car loan. It could be a home, you know, home mortgage loan, anything. It's favorable. Uh, at least this energy is that's showing up here for you because this King of Pentacles will represent the um, bankers or the creditors. OK, so following the King of Gardens, we have the Queen of Fire. So this is also a week of things heating up now because you have positive cards here. I have to go. <laughs> I have to refer back here to the. Um, the devil card is the fo focus when I said things could be heating up. Well, it could be in, in the direction where uh, maybe it's that week that you have that talk with yourself or have that talk with significant others. These are representing people. OK, now, whether or not they're uh, you have the king and queen showing up here, but whether or not they're. Um, you know, fire that you're dealing with or earth that you're dealing with. It doesn't really matter. So but this by itself is being focused. There's something heating up, uh, being very, very passionate about something. Um, this is my card of sexual energy, sexual expression. All things are possible with this queen of fire that represents Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female. Next up is the seven of gardens. OK, so again, more interest. And focused on money matters, work matters, um, paying attention to your work. This is a card of options. It could also, too, be a significant bump in pay. Um, someone receiving a new job. Seven of uh, Pentacles is all about generosity still. All right. So thinking about uh, money matters, but in a good way. See, because you have all this uh plentiful stuff here fruit and stuff fruit is always like um you know when i always say about the nine of pentacles when it's showing enjoying the fruits and uh, of your hard work and labor and stuff and ironically this card has fruits in it so yeah so you're working hard for those coins trying to establish yourself trying to build up um you know your nest egg possibly for something you know later on in the future but you got the resources you got you got the stamina the Seven of Pentacles is also about stamina and being focused about whatever it is in terms of what your goals are, or what you're trying to achieve. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. And now guess what? We have love. This is the major arcana, Scorpio, the lovers. In this deck, it just simply says love. Again, this is about family, spending quality time with family. And it's underneath the Four of Tides. And that's what I said. I don't go by what I see here. I go by what I feel. OK. And if the water 
representing your energy is clear and calm. That's your emotions. That's good emotions. There's no turbulence here. OK, so even if their backs are to each other, it's not like in some cars they'll have, um, you know, like it's a seven of cups. You'll see all the waves and the, and the turbulence and stuff like that. This water is calm, calm as shit. So, again, it's over top of the lover's card. So that's the formation of new relationships, spending quality time with existing relationships. We have the uh, again, I go back to um, the holiday and spending quality times with, the, the, you know, the holidays. Some people don't do well, you know, because of the holidays. They get more stressed than they get pleasure. But there's more people who enjoy the holidays than the people who don't. And so it's spending quality time with those people who are meaningful, who mean the world to you and, and you mean the world to them. Business partnerships with the king of pentacles showing up here. Even if the king wasn't here, the lover's card would always represent the formation of new, new, you know, new business partnerships. And um, platonic romantic definitely but getting along well with whatever the uh, energies are business platonic romantic so this is good this is turning out to be good and by all means do not allow the focus of the devil somebody needs to talk about something that's affecting them um their current relationships with family members, romantic partners, uh, friendships. It could be almost something going on with co-workers at the job, something going on. OK, Scorpio, just bring it up to the surface and talk about it. Um, and then, you know, like I said, the shadow is your six of fire. So your victory and success could come in. And having to be able to discuss those things that. Uh, some of the devil's energies may unfold for you or that you're dealing with at this uh, particular time. So major arcana shows up here. You have two major arcana. So I always say the more arcanas that show up, the intense the energy is going to be. Right now you have you have dominant good stuff. OK, the devil could be very, very tricky. That's why it's called the devil. So, you know, you don't want to I don't want to say it's neutral. I don't want to say it's bad. I don't want to say it's good. It's just a lot of energy that's going on there that needs to be sorted out. Following that, now you have the three of fire. So this is the traveling card again. The six of wands was the traveling card. Now you have the three of fire. So any of those ideals, push the business ideals, uh, Scorpio, if you have them. Something positively moves forward with you. So if you've been thinking about doing something on the side or doing something in terms of your own startup business, then this three of wands here is with the king of pentacles over top is the uh, confirmation. Something positively moves forward. Remember, the two of wands is the formation of ideals, writing things down, planning for the future. Unless the three of wands shows up here, that means you're, you're going to move forward with it. So the three of wands might be showing up here for some Scorpios who have already decided that they wanted to move forward in doing something on their own, possibly, or maybe doing something positive in terms of investments or uh, some other thing that's attached to financial. It could be in relationship to the work that you do, all things. But I'm seeing a lot of positive energy generated around uh, these two cards alone. But the cards um, that have shown up here so far, the lovers, the queen of fire, even the seven of gardens is about options in a good way last card it oh see th this is what this is what i'm talking about scorpio this is what i'm talking about i just said in a previous video how do you go about explaining when the three of swords could be the focus and then you get positive cards i have to go through explaining this three of swords energies now this is an open general reading it does not mess up the entire reading and as a matter of fact because the lovers here the lovers is shown up here. It sort of like diminishes the three of uh, swords energies. But there also too might be a connection of something else that's in you know relationship to a relationship, and it's a painful ending, a separation. This is called a grief, separation, heartache. It's underneath the Queen of Fire. That's a court card. This is a card that always represents 
pending divorces. Uh, as I always say, it's just as painful as me to explain this energy to you as to, you know, you guys receiving this. Uh, I, I don't like the three of uh, winds or the three of swords. OK, but I don't want you guys to focus primarily on this. And because it is the last card in the spread that that takes over the entire rest of the energies that have shown up here that were positive for you. And people have a tendency to do that because I do recall uh, one person. Uh, mentioning that I think it was the three of swords or the tower that showed up and it was like, great, you gave us a good reading. And then that it, it was all killed at the end. I'm like, come on, come on, people. Don't do that. All right. There's all other kinds of energies that are opening up here. This one card does not take over all the other messages that I have given you. But this card is showing up here for a reason. And it's for a Scorpio that's going to come through and watch this video. And like I said, in the last time that the uh, card showed up, I don't know which sign it was for. I said, I don't know why I get a loss of a pet or a separation from a pet with the three of swords. This thing could, this three of swords could represent someone trying to form a wedge between you and something that you want or something, um, or someone that you want love triangles, you know, a tryst. Well, not necessarily a tryst. Um, an interference. There's some sort of interference. There could be family interference. Just because you see this heart here doesn't always, the heart represents an emotional level and it doesn't just mean uh love you know and romantic relationships it's the, the the swords are at the heart that's causing some sort of pain and conflict to whoever it is whether it's a romantic partner whether it's a friendship whether it's a pet whether it's the couple that's still together uh but the pain and separation is caused because they're in a different there's distance between them and it might be because, you know, the holidays are coming up and it might be that you're not able to spend the holiday time or, you know, with your significant other. That's the three of swords. The separation, you know. Um, so, yeah, the three of swords, is it carries its own energies, but it doesn't really, um, like I said in the last video, it has its own energies and stuff like that. But when you have other positive stuff that is showing up here, do not forget those those messages. It's just that somebody will be impacted by this three of swords. Court card fire is over the three of swords. OK. It could be three painful choices to make and maybe that's all that it is or it could be it may be energy that's a directly attached to the devil's card as the focus in terms of having to bring something up to discuss it but it's very very painful you maybe don't know how to go about doing it if you go about doing it then it's going to cause some sort of grief so i'm sorry scorpio is going to cause some sort of grief heartache separation possibly Maybe that's it. OK. Be able to connect the dots like I am to see, you know, the cards that were selected for you and how uh, some of these energies may play out uh, in terms of what you may experience this upcoming week. That's all. I'm just telling the story and Phil filling in the blanks and giving you my best intuitive impressions of what could occur for some of you is very difficult to say, uh, you know, this is going to happen to this person. This is going to happen to that person. No, I, I, it, it, unless you get a personal reading by me, I could tell you exactly what's going on. All right. So with that being said, let me select the car for you. With the cup showing up here, that could reference separation of children. Children uh, possibly being at a distance or somewhere. So the, the, the two people in the uh, boat could be the children. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So the card that flipped over here, Scorpio, is I am fulfilling my heart's desires. So let's hope that you are, Scorpio. So you have, in my impression, in my eyes, a good week. OK, but some of you may be experiencing this three of swords energy and in terms of uh, the connections that I made. 
Uh, and like I said before, you're, you're smart enough to fill in the blank and apply uh, the energies as far as the devil is concerned. All the cards that have shown up here, you have the lovers. The three of swords does not take away from the lovers that is showing up here. Remember, the lovers is a major. These are minor. But the three of swords acts oftentimes as a major because of the destruction that comes with it. Okay, Scorpio, uh, with that being said, happy holidays. Um, once again, please be safe. Always emphasizing that safety. Wishing you guys uh, quite a bit of love and light your way. And do th and by all means, throw in the comments and let me see what's going on here. You know, I want to make sure, you know, um, that these messages are resonating with you and opening up for you. But if they're not, don't worry about it, okay? There, it's just energy. Uh, so with that being said, I'll talk to you soon. Love and light, Scorpio. Bye.